Hey Arnold, you know that googling your symptoms is a really bad idea. Oh look, hmm. depressed mood, lack of self-confidence, fatigue. Hmm, maybe you really do have depression. Perhaps you should make an appointment with a psychiatrist. It's really important not to self-diagnose and self-medicate, so don't... <laughs> wow, so many different antidepressants. Something tells me you're not interested in reading the directions either, are you, buddy? All right, so you have two packs of Prozac, 75 tablets of Celexa, five packs of Zoloft, half a jar of Lexapro, and a whole lot of sedative syrups of different varieties and colors. Not that this will necessarily cure your depression, but once you start collecting <laughs> medicines, it's hard to stop. The only thing that really concerns me is the tricyclic antidepressant. But if I know you, I know that sooner or later you'll start using that garbage too. Oh, here we go again. Let's see what you took this time. MAO inhibitors can lead to delirium tremens, hence your hallucinations. Dizziness, tremors, seizures, all are caused by serotonin reuptake inhibitors. The euphoria and pleasure you're experiencing come from tricyclic antidepressants. By the way, did you notice that you haven't eaten in eight hours? Models sometimes take antidepressants to not feel hungry, and dreams under antidepressants appear closer and more tangible. So, Arnie, was it all a dream or was it real? What now? You don't want to self-medicate anymore. Wait, Arnold, what are you doing? You can't flush the pills down the toilet. You ignoramus. Due to antidepressants getting into the sewers, fish have become more aggressive. You remember that Toby is a piranha, right? Due to fluoxetine getting into the water, fish are losing their individuality, and the effect is preserved for generations to come. Dang it, Arnold, you better take him to the vet. Did you already forget what happens when you diagnose and prescribe treatment yourself? Hmm. The piranhas seem to have acquired a taste for human flesh. Get ready, Arnold. A new experiment awaits you. A bathtub full of boiling hot water. Stop watching Netflix and stop texting Susie. She's not going to answer you anyway. Come on. No way. Are you finally going to meet her? Ha <laughs> ha. What a maroon. You're seriously depressed, buddy. The World Health Organization estimates that depression affects 300 million people worldwide. That's about 4% of the global population. Depression occurs due to a deficit of neurotransmitters in the brain, serotonin, norepinephrine, and dopamine. Without these natural chemicals, favorite activities stop being pleasurable and colors turn gray. And all of this can end very tragically. So just don't do something stupid, Arnie. Arnold, you have millions of fans on YouTube. Why do you need all this? Come to me, buddy. I'll give you a big hug. Depression isn't just a change in mood. It's a real illness. To treat it, you most definitely need to consult a doctor, preferably a psychiatrist. Antidepressants can help you, but be careful. Some are addictive. Start going to the gym. Believe it or not, exercise is one of the best ways to reduce symptoms of depression. And change your diet. Eat more dark chocolate, seafood, nuts, and fruits. Meet with your friends. You can get a pet and take it for walks in the park. How do you like Australia, Arnold? <laughs> Don't move! It looks like that's an inland taipan. Hey, dumbass! That's the most venomous land snake on Earth! The taipan's venom is 180 times more toxic than a cobra's. A drop the size of a pinhead can kill 1,000 rats. And 44 milligrams of this venom, which the snake injects in a single bite, can kill over 100 Arnold's. Running is useless. The taipan does not slink away after the first bite like other snakes, but continues with a series of lightning-fast, super-precise attacks to finish off the victim. These 13-millimeter long fangs just injected a powerful hematoxin into your blood, 
that prevents it from clotting. This leads to internal bleeding. You lose control of your body. Your limbs stop obeying. Breathing becomes difficult, and convulsions begin soon after. Oh, don't worry, Arnold, that's not blood. That's urine. Your muscle cells literally begin to dissolve and leave through your kidneys. Due to this, your urine becomes red. If you don't take an antidote within 30 minutes, then for the next eight hours, during what's left of your worthless life, you will experience hellish pain that will make you beg to be finished off sooner. The first part of the simulation is complete. And one more breath. Well done. You've inhaled exactly 2.5 grams of mercury. You can find as much in two mercury thermometers if you breathe in their evaporated mercury when you inhale, just like you did right now. Or if you fill a small room with thermometers and trample them thoroughly, it will take you around one hour and 250,000 thermometers to breathe in the same dose of mercury and die. This is also mercury, do hole. If you drink a glass of ordinary mercury, the maximum that can happen is you might get a severely upset stomach and diarrhea. But if the mercury is finely fragmented, you will die in pain. When ingested, tiny droplets form hazardous soluble salts. Your body temperature rises to 40 degrees Celsius. You begin to shiver, and your chest and stomach start ripping apart from pain. Also, don't forget to add extreme salivation, vomiting, and diarrhea to the mix. If we don't bump your stomach immediately, death will come after 10 to 30 excruciatingly painful days. The second part of the simulation, a virus has snuck in somehow. Don't move, Arnold. Do not move. Oops. Get your ass down here and choose what you'll eat first. Come on, Arnold. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. One bite from a baby cobra can kill a three-ton elephant. There's almost no air in its stomach. But when diving, snakes can hold their breath for up to 10 hours. Gastric juices will digest it in one and a half to two hours, as if it was a chicken. Everything that remains will have to go through the anus. Oh, look, it's venom. If it doesn't contact with your blood, it can't harm you. What the hell? Though as soon as it gets into an ulcer or a cut, the venom's effects are instant. Paralysis, convulsions, and after 15 minutes, you're a goner. But only if you don't use an antidote. Okay, who let the frog in? One gram of Philobate's Terribilis venom can kill a whole city worth of people. Should a small animal step on the trail of this frog, the toxin will kill him instantly. Even if you get a small drop of the poison on your skin, boom, you're dead. The frog will pass out 30 seconds after getting into the stomach, and 10 minutes of painful death will be waiting for you. And an antidote for this poison doesn't exist, so you can stop looking. And if a scorpion's poison is added to the philobate's poison, its strength will increase by 12 times. Any last wishes? Do you want the viewers to subscribe and leave a like? Get dressed, Arnie, because with a body like yours, we could lose our entire female audience. Looking for similarities between you and Schwarzenegger. You have one at least, and that's your names. You're going to have to start working out if you want to have a body like his. And also give up on your usual diet. Or do you maybe have some other options? Arnold, are you serious? Steroids! First off, it's illegal. And secondly, I repeat this, it's illegal. Muscles consisting of protein compounds are built up due to micro tears, which are restored within a few days and make the muscles stronger and larger. Steroids are substances that, once inside the body, are converted into hormones that double the recovery process, while at the same time drastically increasing muscle volume. After taking so much testosterone, irreversible processes begin in the body. You'll see an increase in acne, a decrease in testicle size, and unwarranted aggression. Although, I will know what caused it and why. <laughs>
Don't yeah. worry, Arnold. At least you'll have something mm -hmm. else big. Yeah, yeah, it yeah. seems this wannabe treatment is made just for lazy people like you. In fact, using steroids means you don't even have to exercise in order to gain weight. Of course, consuming so much testosterone will increase your libido. You'll want more physical attention almost immediately. Hey, Arnold, come on. That's just too much. So, you decided to upload your photos to a dating app. Congratulations, you got a match. Judging by her photos, you have a lot in common. How are you going to surprise her on your first date? Great, Arnold. You two are definitely made for each other. Good morning, Arnold. I see you didn't wake up alone. What? Are you scared, Arnold? I forgot to tell you, testosterone affects women in its own special way. They get facial hair like men, and their voice becomes deeper and rougher. But don't rush out like that. It's dangerous, because your heart is not as good as it used to be. Now you can easily have a heart attack. Ooh, you have a serious battle there. Oops, didn't expect a little fly to get in your way, did ya? Hey, Arnold, I don't recommend messing with them. Who knows what they could do? Oddly enough, flies can harm humans, and the most dangerous species are found in South and Central America, as well as in Africa. For example, the bot fly, which breeds larvae inside animals. Ew. Or the horse stomach bot fly, a fly that gorges on horses. After penetrating inside the animal, the larvae begin to build nests right there in the stomach and intestines. Yuck! Then there's the sheep nose bot fly, a fly that lays larvae in sheep. They develop inside and then eat all the internal organs on their way through. But there's nothing more terrible than the larva man bot fly, a fly larva that chows down on humans. The fly eats only human meat and is particularly fond of savoring human flesh and especially brains. Yikes! Most often, the larvae enter the body with food and through open wounds, but they can also quietly slip in through the mouth, eyes, and ears. And now imagine if there could be tens of thousands of such larvae inside your body right now. I bet just two to three days would be enough to eat all your insides. There are just two ways to survive these little buggers without using special drugs. The first is to cover the affected area with fresh bacon. No, really. Then the larvae will crawl out to its scent. The second way is to cover the penetration site with a thick layer of Vaseline. Due to a lack of oxygen, the larvae will get stuck and suffocate. It worked! Arnie, you're still alive! But you do kind of look like Swiss cheese now. Then again, I bet you'll be just a little more careful with flies from now on, won't you, buddy? Come on, finish your burrito and let's go to the garage. I'll show you my new device for shrinking people. Aw, you dropped your burrito. Arnold, are you seriously going to eat that? Okay, the five-second rule says you can eat dropped food if it doesn't stay on the floor longer than five seconds. But I wouldn't. Arnold, what's wrong with you? Does your tummy ache? This is the perfect chance to test my quantum resizer and find out from the inside what's hurting you. Put this helmet on and I'll connect your consciousness to your nano copy and insert you into your own body. But first take off your underpants. It's the fastest way to get you to your destination. Here we go! You ate a burrito which contained the eggs of some very smart tapeworms. Arnold, just look at this. They built a whole metropolis inside of you. They even built a zoo! Let's check out the zoo. Today's Monday, so there's a 50% discount. My God, this is a zoo of pathogenic viruses and bacteria. I admire your interlopers. Spanish flu, plague, Ebola, tuberculosis, swine and bird flu. 
and a bunch of other rare pathogens all in one place. Look, there's even my favorite, the little studied <gasps> baronavirus, also known as sad horse disease. It mainly affects horses, cows, rabbits, and other animals. Arnold, I wouldn't put my fingers in the cage if I were you. It's suspected that the infection causes schizophrenia. Arnold, unfortunately, your stomach hurts due to parasites. Look, they're building a highway in your intestines, a water park in your bladder. If they build a data center in your head, you'll most likely kick the bucket because your head is so small. You need to figure out how to expel them from your body. The sooner, the better. If you open all the cells of this Pandora Zoo, most likely it'll help you expel the worms. Come on, Arnold, go ahead. It's better to cough from a couple of days of Ebola than live with these worms inside of you. Congratulations, Arnold, on the heroic exile of the parasites. Wake up and get your ass out of bed. I've already packed your suitcase. Here's your plane ticket. Come on, hurry up, let's go. You're going for a nice little weekend at the spa. You'll take baths full of original Coca-Cola, created according to John Pemberton's recipe from way back in 1886. This pharmacy mixture made of coca extract absorbs quite well in the blood and can create euphoria in particular doses. And in certain doses, it can kill you. When bathing in this drink, your skin will absorb a large amount of benzomethylagonine. Arnold's feeling quite happy and cheerful. At present, the quantity of this ingredient in your blood doesn't exceed 50 milligrams. A dose of 500 milligrams is already toxic, and 1.2 grams will be lethal. Although the euphoria lasts for 30 minutes, you, Arnie, will again and again want to get this feeling back. No, seriously, dude, that's enough for you. Without a new dose of this spa treatment, Arnold will become aggressive and irritable. This substance reduces the amount of dopamine in the brain, and without it, Arnold feels unhappy. Now, all of his energy is devoted to finding more Coca-Cola. Arnie, I like you better the way you were before. Once in the blood, the coca extract raises your body temperature, narrows your blood vessels, and raises your blood pressure. Half a year of such daily cola baths, Arnie, and you'll be burning up from within. Arnold, you're just a magnet for trouble. That looks really bad. You need immediate hospitalization. You're not going to make it to the hospital. Your heart could stop. You need an emergency blood transfusion to maintain pressure in your circulatory system. During the Vietnam War, coconut IVs were sometimes used to treat the wounded. Amazingly, coconut water is quite similar to human blood plasma. So what do we have? Cola. Okay, let's get to work. But first, you need to get rid of all the gas. If the gas contained in the drink gets inside your blood vessels, it'll literally tear you apart from the inside. Cola contains sugar, glucose. This is a perfect source of fast energy and allows you to really perk up. It seems to have worked. The cola has taken root in your body. But your appearance has changed just a little, buddy. Even your hair has changed color. But on the other hand, you'll be a most welcome guest at any children's party. With so much caffeine in the cola running through your veins, you only have to sleep once every three days. Now, you have much more time than regular people. After all, even professional athletes drink cola for a quick dose of energy. And you can always get a refill at the nearest supermarket. No, stop, you kamikaze nutball! Just one single Mentos could turn you into a surface-to-air missile! Don't worry, it won't ruin your day. Cola even helps combat mild depression. But to be honest, Arnold, cola in your blood is actually deadly. Your eyes, kidneys, nerves, and heart suffer the most. Yeah, looks like cola's not an option. So, what do you say? Let's try Pepsi next time! Ooh, Arnold, looks like someone had some fun last night. And something tells me your brain is probably just as much of a mess as this room. You really don't remember anything at all.
Arnold, could it really be? Last night, did you finally become a real man? Congratulations, Arnold. This is your first alcohol intoxication. And these are the first unpleasant consequences of a new acquaintance. Arnold, how about a toast to your new friend? Ah, well, I see, of course. If you gotta, you gotta. Oh, Arnold, did you really want to make a lifelong reminder of this event? At least you'll have something to tell your friends about later. As you can see, the consequences of alcohol intoxication don't just damage your health. They damage your bank account, too. Oh, you were unmatched in generosity last night, Arnold. You were the king of the party. Hmm. Now, where's your tooth? Anything ring a bell? Nothing? No? Arnold, you didn't know this, but drinking too much leads to unnecessary aggression. And you certainly paid a price for that. Ooh, you found a solution. Time to take aspirin. Oh, wait, no. You forgot to restock your first aid kit. But really, Arnold, all these troubles are just in your head. Mineral water is a miraculous thing. You're dehydrated. Just need to replenish the missing water from your body. What's with the jacuzzi? I totally understand if you want to quit drinking after last night, but not water. You didn't think it'd be that easy to escape your hangover, did you? Someone call Spielberg. We have a plot for a new Jaws. What is it, Arnold? Are you calling an ambulance? Ah, you decided to recharge your strength with delicious pizza. But you forgot about one thing. Booze breath. These are the decay products of ethanol that appear in the body after the liver has taken over its processing. One of them, acetic acid, has a particularly nasty smell. Hey Arnold, you sure you still want to sleep after eating? Sadly, you can forget about sleep. Cerebellar functions are impaired after alcohol intake. As soon as you close your eyes, the cerebellum ceases to have enough data for orientation in space and starts transmitting broken data to the cerebral cortex. Say hello to bed spins. Poor Arnold. It's a pity just to look at you. Let me give you one piece of advice. Right now, a cup of hot tea will save you. Wrap yourself in a warm blanket and fall asleep so soundly that no prince can possibly wake you up with his kiss. In front of you is Toxorynchites, the largest mosquito on the planet with a wingspan of 12 centimeters. Don't be afraid, dummy. It doesn't need your blood. This species feeds on the nectar of flowers. Be careful, there are ants in here. And what's this? Did you know that mosquito saliva contains enzymes to anesthetize the victim and drink his blood discreetly? But the females don't need the blood for themselves. They feed babies with it. And yes, only females drink blood, and males feed on flower pollen. Better not breathe. A hungry female will smell the CO2 you exhale from 20 meters, and the menthol gum won't help you. They still find you by the heat of your body. But even a thousand mosquitoes can't suck out all your blood. It'll take a million and a hundred thousand hungry insects. Oh no, Arnold, you disturbed the bullet ant colony. When it bites, a burn is formed on the skin, equal in pain to direct contact with fire. The neurotoxin panerotoxin enters the bloodstream, which attacks the nervous system, paralyzes the limbs, and causes excruciating muscle spasms lasting up to 36 hours. From the bite of a thousand ants, you'll get so much neurotoxin that you'll experience hallucinations and problems with the supply of oxygen to your organs. But you will survive in the tribes of South America. In this way, a boy is initiated into a man. Now you're a real man, Arnold. You deserve likes and subscriptions to the channel. Oh, I completely forgot. Mosquitoes carry diseases from sick animals, such as malaria, dengue. Everyone ready? Toby, here we go. Let's see how it went. Arnold, if it's you, gurgle three times. Now wave your fin. Okay, spin around. Do a backflip. 
Yes, now I can see that it's definitely you. Toby, bad boy, bad. Put the aquarium back. Whoops. Arnold, hold your breath. You'll die if you inhale gastric juices. We have seven seconds to pump out all the acids from the stomach while you're moving through the esophagus. Did you just black out? Just like a real piranha. When they're in a shoal, they can easily gut a whole cow in just 10 minutes. But the moment the piranha is alone, it faints from the slightest rustling. Fish need a lot of fresh water. Therefore, it will slam all four liters of the stomach with it. Here. Have a snack, Toby's favorite treat. But be careful with the teeth. A piranha bite is stronger than any other creature on Earth, even including dinosaurs. The last thing you'd want right now is a hole in your stomach. Actually, I have a plan. Toby, open your mouth and try to push Arnold out. Arnold, you go swim to the exit. Come on, guys, do it together. Arnold, you seem to have confused the entrance with the exit. Turn off your Google Maps and start crawling. Toby, you keep trying to push him out. You won't be able to get out of there dry. Now, where did I put my 5-liter enema bag? Oh, here it is. That's better. Now you just have to swim for about 4 meters. Crikey, the things you've been putting in your mouth. I haven't seen a Tamagotchi since the 90s. The water's almost finished. Paddle to the light. I planned a slightly different experiment, but this one turned out to be good too. Right, Arnold? Hey, Arnie, now you'll be eating only raw meat like a carnivore. Can you feel how quickly your levels of adrenaline and aggression are rising? Of course, it'll be a little difficult for you to chew, as human teeth aren't adapted to eating raw meat. Better cut it into small pieces, like the ancient Mongols did. In fact, the most famous dish made of raw meat, steak tartare, is named after them. Without cereals, vegetables, and fruits, the flow of glucose, which is fuel for your body, will stop. Your liver will start to process its fat stores to meet your body's energy needs, and you'll start to lose weight, up to 5 kilograms a week. Your muscles will start to dehydrate and dry out. That's why a meat diet is so popular among Hollywood celebrities and supermodels. Cholesterol levels in your blood will go up, and, well, let's face it, you'll be at increased risk of heart disease. Amino acids will fill your intestines, and they'll mix with bacteria from your skin, and that will lead to a super grungy body odor. Raw meat does contain some dangerous microorganisms, such as E. coli, salmonella, and listeria, and they can cause you to suffer from diarrhea, vomiting, and just general old heaviness in your stomach. But when your body finally adapts to such food, you'll feel a surge in energy and physical strength. The reason for this is increased testosterone and vitamin D levels. Even Bruce Lee himself, when preparing for fights, liked to have a tall glass of yummy fresh meat smoothie. Our ancient ancestors used to eat raw meat, but their lives changed forever when they figured out how to use fire and began cooking. That cut by two-thirds the time needed for digestion. So energy use moved from the stomach to the brain, and this triggered a cognitive revolution. Humans began to use much more abstract thinking and developed complex languages. And as a result, modern civilization developed. So eat, my dear Arnold, eat! And soon you'll end up with the IQ of a caveman or fashion model, which, meh, they're roughly the same. Arnie, did you waste all your money on the online farm again? Okay, fine. Now you're gonna have to eat virtual food. By the way, did you know that Bill Gates is a McDonald's gold card holder? It gives you the right to eat there for free. And you obviously need it more than anyone else. Where to start? I suggest the special suicide burger from Burger King. It's got four patties, four slices of cheese, and bacon. 800 calories. And here comes the Mickey D's french fries. They contain 19 hidden ingredients. Arnold, eat! 
One burger patty can consist of parts from a hundred different cows at once. In total for the fast food industry, 50 million cows are butchered a year. Are you finished already? Then drink some soda. It's deliberately free here because it wets your appetite. Thankfully, to satisfy your urges, there are already 39,000 McDonald's open in 120 countries around the world. And in the UK, recycled oil from french fries even fuels trucks. Over the past 20 years, the number of overweight people in the world has tripled. You better stop, Arnold, because with a diet like this, you'll gain 10% of your body weight per month. And this will lead to... Arnold, stop already! You now have type 2 diabetes. You're depressed and your blood vessels are chock full of fat. And this could easily cause you to suffer a heart attack. Fast food is extremely high calorie and is practically devoid of vitamins and minerals. My advice, you need to urgently switch to healthy food cooked at home. Otherwise, you're in big trouble. There you go. Good for you, Arnold. How about I'm going to visit you for dinner tonight? O-M-G! Arnold! What in tarnation did you make? Roasted piglet? Chocolate caramel cake? That's not what I meant. It's not just about not eating fast food, buddy. It's about any kind of high-calorie food, and you're overeating.